Some of the biggest names in tech heading to public markets like Zoom and Slack. But investors, they're looking for their next big bet. And that next generation of tech companies could be in Latin America. Morgan Brennan is at the Emerge Conference in Miami. And Morgan, there is a lot of money and a lot of VCs with their eyes on this region. There absolutely is, Deirdre. I mean, we talk about this so much, right? These All these tech unicorns that are coming to the public market now. The question, what is next? Or perhaps I should say where SoftBank is setting sights on Latin America, just recently launching its $5 billion innovation fund. News that it broke on CNBC just a few weeks ago. The size is unprecedented. The total here is the equivalent of all of the VC investments in the region for 2018 and 2017 combined. Now, I just spoke with the fund's new managing investment partner, Paolo Passoni, here at Emerge on stage just a short while ago. Here's how he says SoftBank is going to be targeting this, these investments and how they're thinking about this. They got to be in it not for the money. They got to be in it for changing how things are done to serve customers better. That's really what it is about. The moment I sense they're in for the money, it's not interesting anymore. So that kind of passion, that kind of commitment has to be uh, really, really strong. And second, a deep bench of people with you. It's not a single person that, that will do it. The moment it's about the money, it's not investing. It's not interesting anymore. This is particularly notable, perhaps not surprising, given some of SoftBank's other major investments over the years. Much less focus on profitability, much more about disruption and sort of that longer term, bigger growth. In LATAM, the focus here largely going to be on e-commerce, education, healthcare, fintech and mobility. SoftBank is already also heavily invested in ride sharing in the region. Brazil especially has been a huge source of growth. Now, I did ask Passoni how SoftBank is navigating those rivalries since it's invested in all of the major players there. DD, which acquired Brazilian startup 99 last year. And of course, Uber. He basically said whether largest or second largest player in the region, the fact they're invested in both of them, they believe they're well positioned to capitalize on this ride sharing trend more broadly. Now, Pasoni also just joined from Third Point over at SoftBank. He's been there three weeks, says he's already met with 140 companies. Also said on stage here today that SoftBank is mulling over the possibility of opening a full-fledged artificial intelligence center, something they could possibly do here in Miami, maybe Mexico City, maybe Sao Paulo in Brazil, but that basically the idea here is to get cities on board and also to develop those deep benches of talent as they look to deploy all of this capital in the region.